How to not be a noob? First step to not being a noob is to not think like a noob. If you think like a noob, you're a noob. All right. Well, is this FTP server vulnerable? I doubt it. Um, let's take notes. All right, and there might be an Ethereum network listening in there. What do I mean by thinking like a noob? I mean asking questions like, you know, like, ugh. guys, here. Uh, Slate, star, codex, building, square. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. He talks about Jane Jacobs. Ah, yes. Yes. Please read this. All right? And then you realize the guy who built that is new. And that kind of thinking is the problem. All right? It's everybody who wants to put you in a grid. Everybody who wants to give you, guys, do you really own anything anymore? You know, I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. Do you really, when you buy a PlayStation from, so PlayStation from Sony, do you own that PlayStation? When you, when, you buy, when you buy a car from Honda, do you own that car? Or are they just renting it to you? Are they renting everything to you? Are they renting their, your apartment to you? You know, who really owns your, your kid? Do you own your kid or does the state own your kid? That's what I'm saying. That's the kind of noob thinking. The noobs go along with that mentality. Like, man, if only I had a college degree, the world would open up to me, right? Like, that's noob thinking. Looking for validation from other people instead of skill. I can't tell you what to do. If you're asking me to tell you what to do, you missed the whole fucking point. That's right. Oh, yeah. Hacking, man. Hacking. Alright, for some reason I doubt SSH is going to be very pwnable, but... Let's just key off. I mean, we can look for weird auths. I don't even have a key in here. Right. Read that. <laughs> Essence, you, you know, you're a subscriber. You can speak in all caps. That's all fine. No, it's never too late to develop skills, man. Quit your shitty ass job and go learn some skills. Should we try SSH root? Should we try root? Oh, that didn't work either. All right. Um... Well, we probably have to do some bullshit with this Ethereum. You know, who would have thought that it would be Ethereum? Can't add the key to host. It doesn't work like that. Okay. So there's probably we have an address and we have a contract. So probably what we're going to have to do is connect. And this isn't on the public Ethereum network. This is probably on some private Ethereum network. Um. Networks. That's 
right, guys. Fuck certifications and fuck HR. Since when are we, since why, when are we, why do we hobble in front of these, these, these people who think they run corporations, right? Like, oh, you gotta, you gotta get through HR, man. No, start your own company. You know, and the real, the ultimate, the ultimate jailbreak, man, is to realize that money was just made by a couple guys. You know, look at, look at, look at this guy, man. This guy's my hero. Real talk. Look at this guy, man. I've actually met that guy, but no, 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 no. Think about this, right? Bitcoin was the beginning of the end for the state. Like, once you realize that the state doesn't have a monopoly on money, the state is just one kind of money, like, you don't, you don't, you know, you just, who cares, man? Get your Bitcoins, get your Ethereums, right? These are decentralized money. Yeah, they're trashing our rights, man. They're trashing the flow of data there. That's right. Yeah, he's the Bitcoin maker. But the way that he won, right? The way that he, he won was the thing that he built. You know, some people think, oh man, anarchy, fight the system. I'm gonna burn down, I'm gonna burn down, I'm gonna burn down a, 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 a government building. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a Timothy McVeigh, I'm gonna blow up a government building. See, that doesn't do anything. Because the government has a monopoly on blowing up buildings, right? And you're never gonna, you're not gonna beat them. You know, you're not gonna make a bigger army than the US Army, right? This is never gonna happen. But, but the real way, is if you could just make something better than them, right? If you could figure out how to make how to make a, a service that's 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 better than theirs, right? And better in like a structural way. Um, money, you know, money made by the state. They're just one group of people that makes money. Why does anybody take these jokers seriously, right? And if everybody started thinking like that, we'd have the revolution tomorrow. But as long as you keep thinking like that, as long as you keep thinking, man, you know, I want something from the state, like I want some dollars, or I want a degree, or I want a certification, or I want a validation, that's how they keep you trapped. And as long as you keep thinking like that, you're always gonna be a noob. You're always gonna be a noob, as long as that's your mentality. As long as your mentality is like, George, how do I hack? You're always gonna be a noob. Right? The world information, oh yeah, but I gotta pay my bills. What bills? What bills? If you guys heard about Slab City, man? See this apartment? If this cost me a real amount of money, if this cost me more money than I was making through interest, I wouldn't have an apartment like this. I lived in a van, man. You know, see, that's, that's really, like, like, then you just start making money. And you start making money not because it's anything you have to do, right? I'm not saying don't buy their shit, man. But check out this robotic vacuum cleaner. All right, look at this. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Robot vacuum cleaner. I'm not saying don't buy their shit. I'm saying if you're working, if you're doing something in order to buy their shit, you're a noob. Right? If you just happen to come upon money and you're like, damn, I want that shit. That's all fine. Charging. Charging. That's right. See what I mean? So if you say, oh, I got to pay my bills. I can't quit my job tomorrow. Live in a van. I don't think you're owning the libs, man. Owning the libs, owning the libs is another, it's just another, it's just, dude, can you see how much money all oh, people think, oh, the Republicans, they're the underdog. No, they're not. No, they're not. You're not owning the libs. There was, in 2014, okay, fine. In 2014, there were libs everywhere. It was a real thing. Today, you're owning the libs. The libs are a joke. All right, that's the closest you'll ever get to real politics. Because politics is another one of these things, man. They get you into their system. Oh, who I'm going to vote for? I'm going to go out. I'm going to vote for the Democrats. Or I'm going to vote for the Republicans, right? You're not voting for shit. Your vote is a consent to your slavery. Ford bloke, what do you say? What do you say? No, really, though. When you vote, you're just consenting to their ownership of you. No, no, no class war. They're trying to pit the classes against each other. There's no class, right? The only difference is there's noobs and there's not noobs. And the noobs are the people who think that they're, you know, oh, I'm this class. Oh, yeah, I get to, they buy into this structure, man. The system only works because too many people buy into it. Stop buying into the fucking system. And that's how you become not a noob. The skills follow.
<laughs> yeah, bump Andrew, yeah, and get your free money, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Where were we? A good rant today? We have good rants today? Um, okay. What ports... Scan all the ports. Um, Ethereum clients use Let's see. An alternative netcap. Seem like it's open. Um. Oh man, there's a, there's a Star Trek Voyager episode that goes into it where like you know Jacote meets a bunch of anarchists and they talk about the beast and like ah. Most young people are drones slogging through the system. And most people are. Most people, period. Because they think the system has some kind of legitimacy. And they, they desperately, and this is what they want more than anything else, legitimacy. And the truth is, there's nothing to that. There's no, there's no like, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what other people think about you. It doesn't matter what society thinks about you. Right? But, yeah. Ah, director homeless. Okay, okay, okay. The system wasn't drafted up as some sort of conspiracy. I'm not saying the system's a conspiracy, right? I'm not, I'm not saying anything about there being a conspiracy here. It, it is a naturally evolved thing, right? And this is where a lot of conspiracy theories get things wrong. They think that there's somebody, right? They think that some, you, you're going to get to the top and you're finally going to meet the lizard people. And the lizard people are what's been making you miserable. As soon as the lizard people are unmasked, everything's going everything to go... Uh, Everything's going to get better, but that's not it, man. It's a, it's really a, uh, it's a decentralized uh, dystopia, right? So, you know, it's, it's, it, it's, the system isn't a few people oppressing the majority. The system is everybody oppressing everybody else. The system is everybody thinking that everybody else buys into it, right? You know, power isn't what, uh, you know, you have. It's a lot of times it's what your opponent thinks you have. <laughs> whoa, 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 by the way, by the way, I'll link you to my, uh, my, my male vitality supplements right here in my, uh, my Shopify, um, you know, if they, if they didn't pull my, my payment processor and I'm, I'm talking to Alex Jones' voice. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look, man, all I'm saying is Facebook's not a CIA conspiracy or whatever, whatever, whatever Alex Jones says. The moon landing was, was real. Um, uh, Osama bin Laden did 9-11. Uh, I, I don't know, what else? What else? They're <laughs> making the frogs gay. <laughs> um, this is the mind. This is this is how you think like a hacker, though. You know, you want, you want to think like a hacker. You want skills. This is how you get skills. You're never gonna learn them. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody acts in a self-interested manner. Absolutely. 
I'm not, I'm not saying that we should all, I'm not saying any workers of the world unite shit, man. I hate commies as much as any good American. But what I'm saying is what if we could build better systems? What if we could build systems that didn't involve social capital, that didn't involve who you were, that didn't involve legitimacy, but just involved technicality, right? And that's what, and that's what Bitcoin is. Um, Bitcoin as a, as a protocol and as a system doesn't treat different coins differently when, you know, the United States government treats different dollars differently, right? Oh, those are money laundered dollars, right? But what does that even mean? Although those, those, those dollars weren't officially brought into this country and paid tax on, right? Like this is just, this is just somebody putting up artificial barriers of control. <laughs> I'm not talking about libertarianism either. This isn't, I'm not talking about politics, guys. I'm talking about what makes you a noob. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll get back to hacking. All right, but for everybody who asks the question from here on out, how do I not be a noob? Just listen to that rant. And step one is quit your job. And if you haven't done that, you're not ready to not be a noob yet.